How you doing? This is Melvin Brown. Welcome back to the Melvin Brown Experience. Today is not going to be a story time. Today is going to be another topic. And this topic, we're only going to have one slide and one slide only. Today's topic is about timing. How long does it take for a spell just to work? Now, I hear this question every single day. Melvin, when we do this ritual, how long this is going to take? It depends on your situation. Now, let me give you an example. If somebody want money work, right? And they want the money that they truly deserve, like a salary, a decent salary job. How long is it going to take? It depends on you. Now, if you're working a nine to five, let me give you an example. If you're working in the office and your salary base is probably about $48,000. And we do a money ritual. The most that's going to happen is, depending on your work ethic and depending on the ritual, opportunities will open up for you to have overtime. And then if you take advantage of the situation, then you get a promotion. Instead of you making $48,000 a year, you will probably, probably, probably bring in sixty-five dollars or seventy at the most. But... But there's no timing with that. It depends on your work ethic. Now, there are rituals that you could put in the air to have the bosses or your supervisor be impressed. And it depends on the spiritual worker that can make it go fast. Now, when I did money work like that before with clients that have jobs, the most it probably took was probably three months. It can even take six months. It depends up to you. When it comes with timing, when it comes to money, Money work only work with the hustlers, go-getters, people that's trying to move. It's not going to work with anybody that's lazy. So if you worry about timing with money, it's not like that. It's about your hustle. Now, secondly, court cases. Now, everybody go to court. It could be over a ticket. It could be over a DUI, certain situations. How long does it take for a court case to work? Now, with me being in this field and actually having experience with the court cases, it depends. I had one court case that got dragged up for eight months. I had another court case that dragged up for three months. It depends on the situation. Now, if you on trial for, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, driving under the influence and got yourself in a car accident and caused some harm. Now, I just want to be realistic with this. We got to be real, realistic before time, and we have to be realistic. Honestly, the most I can do with something like that is probably get you a slap on the wrist. You're going to have a felony somehow, some way, because driving under the influence is a felony. You can't escape that. So that's the thing about realistic. But with a court case like that, the best we can do is drag it and drag it and drag it and get you on probation. That's the best I can do. And that could take a long time. Like court working on court cases, like pushing the court case back, pushing it back, pushing it back, pushing it back. That could take approximately, for the final result, that could take approximately probably nine months at the most. So with court cases, timing is very, very critical. Now, the third category about spell working and timing. Now, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, you have a crush on somebody at your job. First thing first, we just can't throw a love spell at somebody. Let's just be honest. Somebody that don't have no attraction towards you, how that's going to work? You just throw something in the air, then I know where you think she's going to say, oh, love me. No, it don't work like that. So with timing like that, you're going to have to start off the basics. The first basics is drawing them to have a liking or some type of attraction towards you. Then all of a sudden, we got to do another ritual out of nowhere for communication. Then the rest goes on. That could take approximately about three months by itself. But for the results, it depends on how you carry yourself. Now, you go to your job smelling all musty and shit. Nine times out of ten, it's not going to work. You go to your job and your breath stink. Nine times out of ten, it's not going to work. With stuff like that, it could take a short period of time with drawing somebody that you're interested in. It could take a long time, but you have to listen to your spiritual worker. Now, if you're stubborn and hard-headed, nine times out of ten, 
I don't think you and that spiritual worker are going to get along. So you might overdraft this shit or you might disrespect the spirits and the shit might just overlap to a year or two. But if you listen to your spiritual worker, I wouldn't be surprised to probably take approximately three months just to draw that person you have interest to for it to work out. Now, my fourth one, protection. How long does it take for protection to work? Now, protection should work as soon as the ritual is done. There's no time limit. The only thing I could tell you, as soon as you get the protection ritual, what I do to my clients, I always tell them, I'm going to give you two days before I do the ritual. They say, okay, Melvin, what you want me to do? I said, look, I want you to do me one thing, one thing only. What is that, Melvin? Download a citizen app. Now, look at the crime activities before the ritual is done. And then nothing don't happen. Or it's some, it's some stuff, but it's not major. Two days later, the citizen app just go crazy. I can't get in details of all that because it's too much pol- politics and political stuff. I'm just going to tell you that. It should work as soon as possible. So if that works, that works. My next one. How long does it take for you to get your lover back? Now, listen, something like this is critical. As I got older, a little bit more wiser and everything, I could put two and two together. First of all, love work can go from a month to six months, 10 months, a year and a year and a half. But What's going to make the spell work effective? It depends on the situation. Now, people come to me wanting they lover back because they found they lover cheating on them. People want they lover back because somebody put magic on them for them to break up. Now, something like that happened. It depends on the protection. It depends on the, on the person that threw the spell in the air and that type of situation for y'all to break up. Now, as a spiritual worker and a professional, my job is to try to get it off or try to dispel the shit as soon as possible. Now, something like that, I can tell you um, basically from experience, people that had spell work put on, on their love life for them, they love her to break up and everything, that could take approximately three months to get off, believe it or not. It depends on what's the situation, why they did it, or how. Let me give you an example. I remember one time, it was this client, she wanted to work with me so bad. I turned her down twice. All of a sudden, I sat down and I listened to her situation. That took me about almost probably a year for that stuff to get off of her because it wasn't a candle. It wasn't a ritual. This was done with food. So, you know, stuff like that, that's a little tricky. Now, if you one of them people that dogged your lover out, treated them like shit, nine times out of ten, your spell will work, but it won't be effective. Let's be honest. If you dog your lover out, treat them like shit, whether you're a male or a female or LGBTQ, the spell might not be effective. Yes, it will hit them. It will bring your target back, but they you might got to renew the shit up every year. Once a year, you got to renew. Now, you could consider that love work. No, I consider that you just renting or releasing something for, for a year. So basically, why does it work like this? Because look, if you argue with them, cheated on them, treat them like shit, they got this barrier. I don't care this barrier that they're going to hold on for the rest of their life. Now, I don't care how powerful the spiritual worker is. We got to look at realistic stuff. If this person, like, like the client, caused this to happen, nine times out of ten, the most we can do is renew it a year. Now, yes, it's therapy and therapy and therapy, but you gotta understand when people get dogged out and treated with verbal abusive, physical abuse, they will automatically kill themselves emotionally. And one thing about spell work, when somebody kills themselves emotionally, it's hard to bring them back. And honestly, that's why I always had a hard time bringing my male clients' girlfriends back. My next one about the love work. It can take a long time, depends on people's situation. It can take a long time. But honestly, if it's just a simple argument, all right, cool, bring them back three to six months, bring her back three to six months. But most of the women, the shit don't work with the women. The shit don't work with the women. Be honest, the shit don't work with the women. Now, if this woman really do love you and really do care about you, you got a chance. But when a woman break up with you, she kill herself emotionally. And it's hard to bring that shit back. It's really hard. And trust me, I tried it a hundred times. I went to a few of my friends in Toronto talking about it. 
they said the same shit and they've been in the game for about 30 years. So it's just that simple. But the best thing I can give you, the best advice I can tell you when it comes to love, work and timing, as soon as you break up, you got to talk to the spiritual work as soon as possible. The longer y'all been separated, the longer it's going to take. Now, I did work with somebody a few months ago. Her and her target broke up for two years. She got pissed off at me because I gave her the proxy. I broke up for two years. It's going to probably take a year and a half or that two years for it to work. But surprisingly, that shit only took about two months. That was crazy. Now, that was a crazy story. But I hope you like this. I hope you enjoy this. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe. You can email me under the description. Um, this is Melvin Brown. This is Melvin Brown's parents. I hope you enjoy this. I am out.